This is Kevin Cassius for IFL TV. Delighted to be joined by the hunk that is Shane Fury. When's yeah. the last time someone called you a hunk? Oh, I, I think you're the first Cougar. But yeah, listen. How are you, first of all? I'm all right, Coug. I'm here. We're here. Lovely building. Part of London I've never ever been before. Beautiful place. Looking forward. We go. Um, we go tomorrow. Well, I've just started camp. To, uh, we fly tomorrow and we start whatever it start. Tyson's been in probably about three or four weeks, ticking away and conditioning and whatever he's doing. So it'll be good. I'm looking forward to going away, doing the job, what we need to do with Tyson. I'm looking forward for the eight week, the next eight week for me is going to be obviously first of all Tyson, but then we'll focus on myself afterwards, trying to get healthy. Green tea, lemon water. You and look anything, all right. You look all right. Anything, no, I'll put about three stone on and I want to get healthy and fit. Good luck. What are you wearing at the moment? Never you mind. <laughs> Should never ask a lady that. Yeah. That's well, what I say. Right, I am. I'm 23 stone at the minute. Ask me next time, and if I'm not 20 stone, I failed. I want to lose three stone, but I want to be All fit. Right. Buy Saudi then. When we next interview each other, the fight week, I'll be 23 stone. All right. And then you can call me on, because sex got I want to be here. No, uh, no problem, no problem. Shane, when I spoke to you a couple of weeks after Tyson's fight, you said to me, if it was close, but you kind of, when you watched it, you gave it to sick. A, cu a couple of times after I spoke to you, you said, when you've watched it, you can see both cases. What do you... I, listen, I was threatening Tyson. I said, if you don't fucking give us a few quid, I'm going to come out of it. And he sorted me out, Sansan, so he won easy. He got robbed. <laughs> oh, it's a close fight, Coog, isn't it? I don't know. I might be totally blind. But anyone who says, oh, uh, uh, Usyk won it easy, to watch him through hatred goggles. Anyone who says Tyson's won it easy, again, it's going to be a biased thing. Look at it. It's a close fight. It's a close fight. Could have went either way. Really, uh, Usyk got the decision. Um, well, it's down to Tyson to put it right. Put it right again, isn't it? When I asked Tyson what he has to do differently, he said not a lot because he said minus that round nine, which is a 10-8 round to, to Usyk, he doesn't feel like he has to do too much more to beat him. What do you think about that? Listen, if Tyson does exactly the same thing as what he done that night, well, bear in mind, listen, Tyson boxed well that night, I thought. There was a few things wrong, but if Tyson does exactly the same thing as he done that night, we'll have the same outcome, which is a, which, which is a close fight, could go either way. If Tyson adjusts himself, adjusts himself, he will uh, he'll have a different outcome. And I believe it's not just adjusting yourself physically and, uh, and tactic. You've got to adjust yourself in the mind and follow it through. So, yeah, that, that, that's what I think. Will he come in heavier? I think so, yeah. yeah. Not like that Not like that was an issue. Are we off? Tice, are we going? No. OK. Um, that wasn't... The reason why Tice come in light, that... Listen, it's not an excuse because I thought he boxed well. But Tyson's never been. Tyson, Tyson was about 17 and a half stone on that night, all right, in that ring. Uh, Tyson's never been that in fucking 10 years. Do you know what I mean? But he had two training camps. He'd done the full training camp before Usyk, uh, uh, when he got the call. It was two weeks out when he got the call. And then he and then he had a rest and so on there, and then he come back and done another training camp, and then... At the end up, it was like stoking a bonfire and trying to doubt it with wood. The more he was trying to eat, the more it was burning, and he, he couldn't keep the weight on him. Well, that is not really an excuse because he boxed really fluent and well. But hopefully, he comes in at his normal weight, around about 18, 10. I'd like to see him um, and, and have the same style, but be, uh, have the endurance to go to do the same thing for longer. You're confident he can do it this time? I was confident last time, yeah. but anything can happen when you're messing with an elite man like Usak. We think we can do it. But I can tell you one thing, it's going to be a good fight. OK. If he was to do one where, where does Tyson... Where, where does Tyson go after victory on the 21st? Where, what, where is his name put? Do you know what I mean? Like, where, at the minute, he's... A, um, at the minute, he's... He's really what he is now, isn't he? Like, oh, I don't think he's anywhere at the minute. But let's say if he gets a win against this great man, Usek, which he is. Yeah. Usek at the minute is being talked about as one of the greats, isn't he? Yeah. 
Who'd run out of Usyk Mamad Ali? I really, really don't know. Oh. But I'd probably you, say. And also, you're talking at two weights as well. Yes. Yeah, so, oh, yeah. But what I'm saying is, where does Tyson go after this? Because Usyk's pound for pound number one, Eddie Earns has. And uh, uh, pound for pound number two and three. If Tyson's lucky enough to get the decision, is he number pound one? You know, is he the greatest fight ever to come out of Britain? Is he the, one of the greatest fighters ever been in heavyweight history? If he beats Usyk, he's got to fight Anthony Joshua. Come and show you know that. I don't want to see it. Listen, two uh, two fellas. Uh, what, what's what's really when it comes down to it? Two past the past the sell by date. Uh, not really. Not really. Is. But again. It's either uh, the Usyk trilogy. I might see him do the Usyk trilogy if there is, or, or Usyk trilogy get out the sport, or if there is going to be a fight, it's probably Joshua, isn't it? Just purely because of the history with him. But listen, it's, it'd be a good fight. It's a sell, wouldn't it? You know, business side. But I'm not interested in business because I've, I've got nothing to gain out of it. Uh, I'm interested in men, people's health around me, and yeah, I'd like to see him over. Generally, I can't wait. In my mind, this is the last training camp in the last nine weeks. I've got to stay away from my children and my wife and everything. What's going on? I don't. I don't like this, but I've got to do it because I've, uh, if, I can, if, if it means that a three percent of me being there and just having a chat with Tyson and having a talk to him, not non about uh, non boxing related, but if it means me being there and giving him an extra one percent for me being there, I'm going to do it. You know what I mean? So yeah, but really, I'd, I'd like to stay at home and just live a normal life, watch a bit of telly. I thoroughly enjoyed Daniel Dubois and Joshua knocking lumps off one another. I was a bit nervous for the pair of them, but really it didn't mean nothing to me. Just as a fan, I just enjoyed it, you know what I mean? When Tyson fights, I'm sure it takes five years off my life every time he fights. It's horrible. Shane Fury, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. We'll see you in Riyadh, three, three stone, stone lighter. Get up, Jinx Padlock. Good luck, mate.